Hi, it's Rose from Carry Them, and I'm going to show you how to do the double hammock rebozo carry. Um, this is my favorite um, carry for a short wrap because it's basically like a, an altered torso carry. Um, and it, with the added benefit of just a one shoulder security, just so it holds it clo your baby closer to your body. It, it almost feels like a cheat to me. Um, it's a really great way to start learning how to do torso carries, I think. Um, so, number one, you'll need to think of what size wrap you need. Uh, I use a size two, so that's 2.6 meters. I'm five foot um, tall, and I'm about a size like four in US size, maybe a two US size, like somewhere in between there. Uh, so I can use a size two. I think that just the average person would probably use a size three for this carry. Um, good pointer for if you're just learning how to do this carry is to use a thinner wrap, one that has a little bit more slippiness to it, less grip, because then you can really slide the, the double pass and make it really secure. Um, this is, Foco, don't move that, no, 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 don't move it. This is grass hemp indio, so it's really thin, it is hemp, it's really supportive, it has a little bit of stretch to it. Uh, it's one of my favorites to use for this carry. One of my other favorites is Natural Hemp India. Uh, it's really thick though, so don't try that unless you have some experience, but it's like amazing. <laughs> nothing, nothing beats uh, like a short Natural Hemp um, India for this carry, in my opinion. So, let's begin. It is a double pass carry. Rebozo, don't push it, Boko, please. Come here. I need your help now. Come here. Am I gonna have to come get you? He's eating a bun, right? Like watching the video that I'm making right now. Um, so anyway, to begin, you need to find where you're gonna put your baby. You're going to put your baby pretty darn close to the tail, one, in, one tail. I'm gonna put Falco's back, like the back of his neck about right here, just so there, this part is going to be hanging over on one of my shoulders and it won't be used for anything other than tying. So you don't need very much on one end. So I'm gonna go get him right now. Okay, Falco. So as you can see, I have him very little on one side, and I'm just gonna put them on my back. I like to just swing them over my shoulder, personally. You can put them on whatever way you are comfortable with, um, making sure that you are holding securely to your baby. This is a great toddler carry, by the way. I don't know how it would do with a smaller baby. I'm sure it'd be great, actually, but uh, Falco is 16 months old now, and this is just excellent because Double hammock, I can't be bothered with it most, like, unless I'm going far. Anyway, so you want to hold your baby securely on your back. You want to pin the tails over your shoulders. See, I'm still holding on to You want to pin? Yes. No, 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 no. You want to pin these top rails under your chin. So they're securing him. Can't move now. And then you want to create your seat. So I like to reach behind the, like under the legs. Instead of from, from over here, you want to reach right here. There. So I've created a good seat. He's now secure. This end, I'm not going to do anything with it, other than tuck him in my chin. Now you want to bring out. This pass, the long end, over your chest like you would a double hammock. Like so. And then you want to bring it behind you. Like this. Just like you would a double hammock pass. And you want to tighten. So. I now have a very loose double hammock pass, but now I can do this. I can stand straight. He's got a really good seat, so he's completely safe in there. And now what I want to do is, okay, Falco, why are you putting your head in there, though? You want to just pull. 
like so. Keeping that bit bunched so it's really tight. So this is what it should look like. So you have basically what is the beginning of a double hammock. Usually you would just have both over your shoulders like this and then you would do the, the um, leg pass. But with this, it's like a very short version of the double hammock. And now you just want to tie it. So I'm going to keep it bunched here for now. This is actually my longer end. It's quite, I could have done that a little bit better. But you know, it can't be perfect every time. want to do a double knot, whatever kind of knot you like, as long as it's secure. I'm just doing like a weird, weird knot. So you now have something that looks like this. Um, what I like to do is I like to spread this over my boob, spread this over my shoulder, and I'm good.